We are a research facility for students, primarily for the research on campus, and so it varies from material science, geology, vet medicine, uh, human medicine, plant pathology, plant science. We look at just a whole array of things. My name is Teresa Sawyer. I work at Oregon State University in the electron microscope facility. I've been here for 13 years doing electron microscopy, and it's the best job in the world. My job is instrument manager, and so that means I am responsible for making sure that they all function properly so people can use them and get their data. I also take care of a lot of the support equipment. Most of the students that have come in here to learn how to use the tools have never been on a scanning electron microscope or a TEM. And so they're always really blown away about what you can actually see on the tool and the magnification that you could get. And the, the ones that are probably most amazed by it are the students that come in on a class tour. It just amazes them what they can see. We have four Thermo Fisher instruments in our facility, and they have all been under service contract for most of their lives. The first one that the students get trained on is this Quanta 600. That tool also has a cathode luminescence detector, and currently that's the only tool that, only SEM that has the elemental analysis on it. Since I am a biological scientist, I like to use that tool because I can get in and look at insects or parasites or do class demonstrations in that tool and I can get an image very, very quickly for them to see. The Helios has several other detectors on it. The one that I use primarily is the stem detector so I can look at ultra thin sections of biological samples and gives them a TEM-like image so that they can get that data without actually using the TEM. The other tool is the Titan TEM, which is a chemistem and that's an analytical tool. People do use it for basic imaging, but they primarily use it for the elemental analysis. That tool is famous for the four x-ray detectors at the pool piece, so they can get their data very rapidly. People come from a lot of different places. Uh, University of Hawaii, University of Oregon use that tool for that particular feature that's on that tool. Being supported by Thermo Fisher, they are a boon in helping me with certain things that I'm having trouble with. The nanoport is really advantageous because we can go and we can see the tools and see the capability of the tools. And the rapid is probably the biggest thing that we go to first. And that has helped us so much. And, and in a lot of cases, we can resolve things right away. They also have this remote access so that they can log in and actually take control of the microscope and come up with diagnostic tools to figure out what is wrong. And if they can't help us, then we get a service call initiated. We do choose a service contract where we have 48 hour response time from the service engineers. And so that allows us to get somebody in here quickly if the system is down so that the students can continue on with their research without a delay. And that's yes. the, the source yes. knobs. My primary knobs. service engineer on these SEMs has been very good to me. He will talk to me on the phone to help me get through things. And then when he is here, he communicates with me throughout the whole process about what he's doing and how things are going. When we have a tool that's down and people can't use it, it's, it's frustrating for everyone. And the, at one point, the Quanta 3D was not under a service contract and the ion column went out. And it was out for a long time until somebody was able to actually come and determine that that was the problem. And then we had to purchase the thing. We had to outright purchase it and then somebody had to come and install it. And so we were down for weeks because of that. And, and because we didn't have the service contract on there, possibly it took a little bit longer. And it was also, if we would have had the service contract, the ion column would have been included in the service. So we kind of lost out on that. If I didn't have those service people and I had to do all of this myself, we would be limping along a lot worse than I would even want to imagine because there are things that I can't do. I don't have the capability and I don't have the knowledge. And so I rely on those people to have that and support me in that way. The thing that motivates me about coming to work every day is the potential of seeing something I've never seen before. 
because almost every day I see something or I meet a student that comes in that's doing something that I've never heard about and I get to learn. And so every day is a learning event for me in this lab.